I'm Nathan Skipper with Montgomery Technology Incorporated and this video is the first part in a two-part series on an overview of the MTI control system. In this video we'll be covering basic concepts and terminology uh, due to the restraints for hosting online video we will not be covering all of the material in the slideshows but I would ask that you if you need to go into more detail or review the slide documentation then please feel free to pause this video and uh, read the slides themselves for more detail. Firstly, if you're going to deal with an MTI control system you need to uh, have basic qualifications or understanding of control systems and electronics in general. Uh, for this and any other presentation, MTI assumes that you have a general knowledge of networking, uh, which includes uh, BIXI standards. We recommend having a BIXI Installer 1 certification or higher. Uh, you need a general electronics knowledge. Uh, we recommend a two-year electronics degree or equivalent or higher and general computer knowledge, such as knowledge of Microsoft Windows. There are several terms and concepts that you need to be familiar with. I'm not going to go into great detail about each of these, but you do need to understand what a relay is. A relay is uh, an electronically operated switch which has a coil, an arm or armature, and contacts and the, through the use of those contacts and the armature and the coil a point is activated and transfers electricity from one side of the relay to another. A latching relay is a relay that uh, has two relaxed states. When it has no current it remains in that current state that it was last in. And then a contactor is not really considered a a relay but it does act as a relay and it is used for heavy duty relay of high voltage systems. Um, we use uh, or anybody that deals with relays uses two different terms that you need to be familiar with. One term is the term poles and that is uh, when a relay switches it switches between one or more poles uh, and when it makes that contact, it, it throws um, the switch so that the coil is energized and the, the current passes through the relay. Now, three terms that you do need to be very familiar with are normally open, normally closed, and changeover. Uh, these three different styles or, or forms of relays um, are used quite regularly within detention control systems. Normally open means that uh, the contact, uh, when the contacts are connected, the current uh, passes through the relay and the relay is activated. Uh, this is known as form A contacts. Uh, a normally closed contact is a contact that has current passing through it when the relay is not activated. So normally open is current ca passes through it when the relay is activated, normally closed when it is not activated. Changeover means that uh, when the relay is not activated, it is normally closed, passing through, and then when it is activated, it is normally open. So it can be both at the same time, and these are form C contacts. There are other styles of uh, relays that we won't go into such as the single pole single throw single pole double throw double pole single throw and double pole double throw uh, you should familiar yourself, familiarize yourself with all four of those as you work on a control system a very important concept or several very important concepts that you need to know especially with respect to an MTI control system are the concepts of grounding. Um, when we speak of grounding, we speak of two different types of grounding. The first is earth ground, which is your physical connection to ground. This is typically accomplished through a ground bar as so shown in figure 0104. Um, and this is very important for lightning protection, particularly with an MTI system. Equally important for pr lightning protection is floating ground. Uh, 
a floating ground is a ground that is a reference node serving as a common return path for current but not electrically connected to earth ground. Uh, this is uh, very important for the MTI system that you ensure that you have a floating ground on the uh, DC side of the MTI system that is not physically connected to earth ground so as to protect the MTI system from surges and lightning and ground faults. Uh, and then concepts of neutral and line go along with that as well. There are other terms such as wet contact and dry contact. A wet contact is a contact, of a relay contact, which provides voltage at all times or whenever the contact is made. Um, a dry contact is a contact that does not provide voltage until the relay is activated. Um, half cycle lock is a lock that uh, when the motor is energized on normally open, the lock pulls back and then when normally closed is energized, the lock pushes back to the lock state. Full cycle locks, on the other hand, when the lock is when the motor is energized through the normally open, the lock runs a complete cycle and automatically locks back. Uh, solenoid, on the other hand, is uh, not a motorized lock, but rather a, a coil with a magnet inside which causes the bolt of the lock to pull back as current passes through it. When we speak of inputs on an MTI system, we're talking about a signal that is sent to the control system from the termination board. And when we speak of outputs, we're speaking of uh, signals that are sent from the control system to an external device. <clears throat> there are three types of control systems that, uh, that people have used over the years. Uh, the first type is a hardwired system. And while there are a few uh, consultants that make a big deal about hardwired systems, hardwired systems are fading very rapidly. Supposed advantage of, as advantages of a hardwired system is the familiarity of it and the availability of components and the lack of, supposed lack of bugs. But the reality is that these can be very difficult to enter, implement complex logic on. They are almost impossible to extend, and they provide very few features uh, for the modern detention control system. The second type of control system, which is the most popular for detention systems, is the PLC-based control system. It involves a device known as the Programmable Logic Controller, which programmatically operates the system. And so between a switch and an LED and the actual door lock is this logic device which makes the decision to open the door or activate an interlock or things like that. The advantage of this is that it takes all the, it brings in all the advantages of modern electronics and modern computer, ba modern computer based control. It's easily extended to add programming and add doors, change things around. And people who understand networking and electronics can grasp it pretty easily. The disadvantages of it are, is it, depending on the type of PLC you use, uh, product lines can change. You can have integrator-specific code that uh, only that integrator can change. And uh, there is an initial learning curve to working with these systems. In addition to uh, a PLC-based system is the access control-based system. Uh, this is a system that integrates uh, automation into the security scenario in which you have a controller which has some intelligence to it and can be programmed with card numbers and personnel records and access levels so that it permits access to certain people and automates that security apparatus. Uh, the disadvantage of these systems, if they stand alone, is that they don't control the uh, detention grade locks very well by themselves. And in addition to that, they can have limited functionality as far as programming capabilities go.